team of reporters covering every angle of this story. And as we've been doing since uh, 5 o'clock, we have been going to the different neighborhoods to give you a flavor of what has been happening. All this starting just after 2 o'clock. Let's bring in Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell, who is live in Boston. Susan? Right now we're on Columbus Avenue and what I can tell you about this area is that this is a staging area for all of the ambulance companies. If you take a look behind me, you can see that there's just a line of ambulances here. These are all of the people who are ready to respond to an emergency if they are needed. Um, they were on a street over. They were moved over to here to Columbus Avenue because there was another threat that we know that police were investigating. What we've learned at this point is that all private ambulance services are canceled non-emergency services and directing all available resources to Boston. That is the official word that we are getting from uh, police here. We also know that local hospitals at this point are not reporting or they're reporting that they're not being overwhelmed uh, with patients. Um, so that is that is another little tidbit of information but again long line of ambulances we see a lot of people in this area that are milling about um, kind of just some people from marathon uh, that you can tell they're just a little bit overwhelmed we've seen a lot of people crying a lot of people trying to make phone calls um, and you can just tell that there's kind of some shock on everybody's faces they're trying to figure out what's going on here but again we do know that the hospitals are reporting that they have not been overwhelmed with patients and that there are some staging areas for runners to go to to get medical attention and use phones if they can't use their own phones because some of the phone lines are uh, overwhelmed at this point. But for now, uh, live in Boston with the mobile newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.